Hello, my fellow bulldog loving friends. This is Kate from anybulldog.com. Today we are going to talk a little bit about how to get rid of an English bulldog smell. Now, if you're not careful, their smell can easily take over your house pretty quickly. Um, it's something that we had to take control over right away. I'm going to give you five tips to keep the smell in your house at bay. That doesn't mean your bulldog's not going to smell like a dog. It will, but it'll stay with the dog and not take over your house. So first of all, regular bathing and grooming. That is step one. It's the easiest thing you can do. We have a video on how to wash a bulldog and you can't forget about those face wrinkles. Face wrinkles will grow bacteria and yeast and they will start to smell. I've had people describe this smell coming from their face as not even like a dog smell, but like bologna or Cheetos and you don't want that smell emanating out into your house. So let's look at these little face wrinkles. Ugh. Here's my Daisy. She has tear stains really, really bad. There's Daisy. Um, I just cleaned out her wrinkles. She never wants to be in these videos with me. But if you, even with tear stains, if you just clean out those wrinkles frequently, she always rolls over in the videos. I don't know why. But if you clean out those wrinkles, maybe every other day, it definitely will help. You'll definitely notice a difference and it should be something you're doing anyways because you just don't want yeast growing on your bulldog and it gets, if you don't, it gets like chunky. You get chunks in there and it's, it's even just gross to look at. So clean those face wrinkles. Don't forget their ears. Their ears can stink too if they're not cleaned regularly. And I have some instructions on cleaning ears and it's important too, to keep their ears cleaned regularly so they don't get ear infections. They're prone to ear infections. So clean their ears regularly, clean their face and bathe them. And step two is more on their face, their dental hygiene. All dogs have stinky breath, really, really stinky breath. But if you brush their teeth even every other day, every third day, it'll help a lot. They do have dog toothbrushes, which actually just look a lot like kids' toothbrushes. And they have um, dog toothpaste. Your vet can give you samples. Daisy has a chicken flavor right now that she loves, loves, loves. And she doesn't mind it. It's kind of fun watching her have her teeth brushed. Okay, here we are brushing Daisy's teeth. She was excited when she smelled the toothpaste, but now she's not looking <laughs> so thrilled about it. <laughs> there she goes. Oh, yum, yum. Good girl. Good girl. Well, stay there, Daisy. Good. There you have it. Brushing your teeth to keep your dog's breath smelling fresh. It doesn't have to be any fa anything fancy. Daisy mostly just chews on that toothpaste while Jacob works around her. Another thing you can do, and I've said this before, to keep your dog's breath fresh is to feed them apples. Even just one slice a day, it helps keep their teeth clean and it freshens their breath. Breath third, and this is not so fun. And I have a video on this that I can link in the description below. It's if your bulldog has anal gland problems, you're gonna have to drain those because those will stink. Those will stink to the high heavens, unfortunately. So if you suspect that your dog has clogged anal glands, something you can look for is um, painful bowel movements, they're constantly trying to itch, they rub 
there are bumps all over the floor. Um, your bulldog might have some anal gland problems in it. Um, you can take your bulldog to the vet and they will teach you how to um, drain the anal glands. This isn't something I would do without someone showing you how to first. Although I do have a video on how to do it, not instruction, not it's not a visual instructions because Daisy doesn't have anal gland problems, thank goodness. But if you're brave, watch my video and go for it. Just be gentle. The next thing you can do is just minimize their gas. Bulldogs are known to be very, very gassy, like extremely gassy. And if you feed them the wrong things, they will stink. When we first got Daisy, we knew that her previous owners fed her from the table whatever they wanted, whatever she wanted. Oh my gosh. She smelled so bad. But since we have fed her the right foods and we really don't feed her table scraps, she doesn't really, she doesn't have gas problems at all. Maybe once or twice a day she might fart and that's not so bad for a bulldog so remember the healthy diet and exercise if they can get out and get those bowel movements out and past and it kind of clears them out it's really gonna help it's really gonna help their stinky smell and the fifth one this is kind of this surprised me too is cleaning their paws their paws can smell bad so you can take a pair of dog clippers and clip the fur around their paws and then um, wash between their paws when you're bathing your bulldog. Just take their little paws, I'll show you. Daisy's still lay next to me. You can just take their little paws and just get soap and just rub right in between them. And it's simple as that and rinse them off when they're done. I think part of the reason bulldogs probably have some stinky paws is because they lick in between their paws to, it's like a comfort, it's a comforting thing to them and so they get all that bad breath and I mean obviously from walks and stepping in whatever dogs step in, they're going to kind of smell and unfortunately bulldogs grow yeast in all of those little nooks and crannies so those are my top five tips for keeping your bulldog smelling fresh. They probably won't smell, you know, great all the time, but these five tips will help. If you have any questions, drop them below, like this video, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.